very good question. So if you just copy someone's title, which is something I recommend, there's still chances that it won't perform well because, for example, with how to build an aesthetic body, that's my top viewed video. It's got 4 million views. It had 250 views till one year in. All right, so it's actually on track. When you copy, you copy the results, right? Not the end term. You can't just copy and just suddenly get to the end point. You've got to go through the same trajectory. So these videos have got a lot of views. Chances are with Steph is Cold videos, with my video, you've copied a video that didn't get an instant burst of views, but rather it kind of like, you know, stayed kind of low and then it popped off in the future. If your video is good, if the CTR and everything, because the topic and the impressions are set. If the video is pretty good and people like you, I can imagine the how to build an aesthetic physique within a few months to about two years, we'll just start getting five, 10 K views per day out of nowhere, even though it was staying at like 100 for an entire year. So you're on the right track. What I would do if you possibly can is to try and figure out the videos that have got the instant growth and also the long-term growth. So how to build an aesthetic physique didn't actually have that definitely because my channel was small at the time. But if you go and see the videos that I've posted, which have about 800K to 1.1, 1.2 million views, the clickbaity kind of ones, top five ways, seven, seven ways to do this. Let's say in about September, no, October, November, December of 2022, those ones got instant views. Those ones, if you try and copy one or two, I'd be, I would expect instantly 500 views over the the night 1000 if the obviously like the impressions is set the idea is set so we just need you to make like a pretty decent thumbnail they can be but it's usually not that quick i copied videos which were one two three years old and so my videos which are six months old it's like i copied from three three years old and my video still performed really well i don't know off my head I would assume there's probably Social Blade, TubeBuddy, but I've never actually looked into that. At least for me, in your own analytics, you can see the view graph, but you can't really see it for other people's stuff. I would assume maybe you can see particular videos on Social Blade. But if you can find, like the easier way to do this is to find when a channel was blowing up, when it gained a lot of subscribers. So you can either use this from memory or you can use this from um, using these tools. For example, from memory, Iman Gaji, he's got 2.7 million subscribers. From memory, he blew up, let's say, 2022, maybe about near the later half of it, probably about September. I'd be looking at those videos, and a lot of them have got 1 million views. That's the finance niche, but I'd be looking at those videos, for example. The value is in your story. That's the first part that will differentiate you from other creators. Your story, your personality, the way that you speak. Over time, the more that you make these videos and also the more that you live this life yourself, you'll develop concepts and frameworks like other people have mindsets. Steph is cool. has got a bunch of mindsets. I've got a bunch of mindsets, concepts. I talk about the, the most important habits, meditation, gratitude journaling. Okay, meditation's like this. Gratitude journaling is like this. That's my unique value. People have been teaching meditation for thousands of years, and yet I've been able to get successful from this because of the way that I explain it because of my story. Start with your story and then explain things in your most authentic way. Don't review the video. So, for example, when you're, when you're copying a video of mine, don't watch it. With Steph is cool. Don't if you've already watched them, fair enough. But don't actually watch them. When I steal someone else's their title and, and stuff, I don't watch their videos at all because I don't want their beliefs and mindsets and whatever they've said in that to contaminate my mind. I'd rather just take someone's title or use ChatGPT and start to like think myself of what I would say in there. And as many times as possible in your video, interject it with your own experiences, whether it's your own or something that happened to a friend, something that you said to a friend. Soon enough, you're going to find that you will have an answer for most of the things you talk about. You'll tell someone to stop simping. You'll tell your friends that you'll say it onto YouTube and you'll notice that there's the same response over and over again. Oh, but what about this? But what about this? But what about this? And you've probably you know had this conversation with your friends where they said, oh, no, but that's not simping. And you think, no, it is. That's your framework developing there. 
So now you say that in your video. So stop simping. Here's a video. Here's a story of me simping. And you might think that this isn't simping, or you might think this limiting belief that loads of people have said to you so far, but it's not because of this. That's your individual value.